and this is a very important update what are the indications of esophageal manometry so esophageal manometry is not available everywhere so easily so this is a little costly investigation costing from 5000 rupees to various centers charge even up to 15000 rupees using 36 sensors we have to put a catheter ask the patient to swallow 10 times 10 ml of water and do the test it's a more complicated test not available in all the places done by medical gastroenterologist it is done for pH monitoring, those patients who are, whom you are going to do pH monitoring, we should know where to position the tip of the catheter. So that is for that purpose, we do this manometry. Dysphagia evaluation, <laughs> a patient having dysphagia, endoscopy is normal, you should evaluate with manometry. Motility disorders, diagnosis, esophageal involvement in systemic diseases like systemic sclerosis. Esophageal motility must be done always before anti-reflex surgery. Because if there is an ineffective esophageal motility, we will do partial wrapping. If there is a normal motility, we will do Nissan's 360 degree wrapping. Therefore, it should be done before anti-reflex surgery to evaluate symptomatic patients after esophageal surgery. After esophageal surgery, any patient having some symptoms, we should evaluate by means of manometry. Update number two, a table is added in substance.